Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for April 1st through April 8th. This is for the sign of Leo. What does Leo need to know for this first week in April? Communication is needed, and I think there's been a lack of communication. This came out reversed. I flipped it around. Communication. I speak the truth. Oh, there's power struggles with these fives. Conflicts. So this right here is the five of pentacles. Somebody is feeling left out. Like they're on, this is, oh goodness. Insecurities. Oh my God, another five reversed. Yes. Oh my God. Five, five, five. Power struggles, major life choices, major life changes. Let go of the old. Divinely guided major life changes. These are instability and power struggles. That's what fives are. That's what five, five, five is. When you say 555, five, five, it means that you have some major life changes and choices to make. Okay? And one of them involves communication. The other one involves insecurities, insecurity. And the other one involves conflicts, um, tension, competition. It's like there's a competition here. Something's always a competition, wanting to prove themselves. Okay? So, five, five, five. Power struggles is the main meaning. Please, God. <clears throat> many, many of you are clinging to the past and you are being called to release. Here we have a lot of happiness, bliss. This is summertime. Okay, this is the sun card. This is receiving the power from above, the truth from above. This is a wake-up call. This is also communication, pointing right up here. Communication is needed. Somebody needs to communicate, okay? And I feel like you guys have been, you've invested in something. You've invested very highly in something, and a lot. You've invested a lot of energy and time into something. And it's something that is insecure, okay? It's something that, you know, makes you, I don't know, let me get some more cards. Solar plexus chakra is self-esteem, self-esteem. Whew. Let me make sure this is zoomed in. This is, I can start over. This is the full card. I can begin again. I can overcome these obstacles and challenges to bring happiness and joy to my life. I have to let go of these insecurities first and these power struggles and accept the truth of a situation and communicate and speak the truth. You are being offered, this is the hand of God, offering you the raw opportunity to communicate and speak the truth. That's what the card means. They are being offered, you, you are being offered the power to use your voice. Power, voice. It's pointed up here at this voice. You are being offered the power to use your voice in regards to your insecurities. I feel as though, you know, here is this is the sun card. This is happiness, bliss. Enlightenment. And this is awakening. You guys are be are going through some sort of enlightenment that 
probably pushes you to begin again. This is a new beginning, to start over. This is the first card, to start over. To, but you have to release these power struggles and this tension. This is tension. And stop trying to prove yourself, because this is wanting to prove yourself that you can do it. I can begin again. Here we have memories of the past. This is a Six of Cups. Someone from your past. This is also children. Someone from your past. You are being offered an awakening in regards to someone from your past. And these seeds were planted a long time ago. A long time ago. The truth is coming out in regards to someone from your past. But now there's an obstacle in your way. And you are being called to go down a new road and believe in yourself. I can do this. There was happiness. This is the past, present, future. There was happiness with someone from your past. There was. This was the, a long time ago. I think this is a long time ago. But now you're going through some insecurities and feeling in, left out in the cold like you're on thin ice. But you're being the raw you're being offered the raw opportunity for truth and, and you're being given the power to speak up, because pointed up there it's speaking up. You're being offered the truth in which this is something you've worked on, okay? You've been waiting for. You've been waiting for this. This is something you've been waiting on. I think it's for years. Leo, you've been waiting for something for years. And it could be of somebody from, from your past. could be a past life. could be a, a past life person. The thing is, in this right here, this is the this is the three of wands. This is patience, and this is patience as well. You guys have have your ships. The thing is, is that you have to plan for the future. The seeds that get planted years ago come to fruition when the time is right. There's divine timing here. You have to move away from some situation. You do. You have to move away from some situation in your past. Accept the truth, speak the truth, let go of these power struggles and make the major life choices, changes that you need to make to align yourself with the right people. But this is patience. You have to wait for the right people to come. This is a six of swords. You got, you're being deceived, son of a bitch. You know, there's some kind of deception here, whether you are deceiving yourself or somebody is deceiving you, okay? It's time to move on from the deception and the power struggles and the conflicts and the instability. It is in order to be happy again. The memories are holding you back. But you are being offered the truth. You hear the truth. You know the truth.
but you're unable to wait for your ships to come in. You're unable to see the future, so you can't take action. Lack of faith. These All these came out, most of them came out reversed, and I flipped them. I'm trying to give you guys a positive reading. There is lack of faith. Somebody's not listening to their inner guide. You are being called to have faith and believe in yourself. Another five. You can start over. You can. St I can start over. I can do it. But you have to have faith. You have to take a risk. You have to do it. You have to take a risk. Not knowing what the outcome is. You have to. Okay? And you need to be patient to wait for your ships to come in. Threes are about your prayers being answered. You have to have faith that your prayers will be answered. Somebody is deceiving themselves. This is the Seven of Swords. Dear God, please, we need something better than this. Please, please, please. I can't change it. I'm sorry. I cannot. And that's what they're telling me. They're saying it's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not my fault. You're right. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. I'm, I'm just the messenger. I'm just the messenger. It's not my fault. You guys are the ones not owning up to it. You're not making choices. You're not making changes. You're not taking action. You're not following your intuition. You're not listening. You're holding back. You are being called to listen to your intuition. Please, Leo, please follow your intuition. Please. And this one came out upright. So the cards, it wasn't the cards. Both of these came out reversed. This one just came out upright. Independence. This is the Nine of Pentacles. This is the widow, widower, the person that goes out on their own, takes care of themselves and loves it and does very well. Enjoys the finer things in life, is happy on their own. Is single and loves it. But somebody is so afraid, so afraid. This is the eight of swords unable to move forward to step outside of their comfort zone I shall live here happily trapped where I don't want to be because I am unable to step outside of my comfort zone Deceiving, somebody is deceiving themselves. Self love is needed. This is self love. Love yourself first, and everything else will fall into place. I can't change it. I can't. And you guys don't have to like me, like I said. I'm sorry. I, I made these all upright to make it better. I did the I did the whole segment upright just for you. Just for Leos. So that I could give you guys a positive reading. If you guys... 555. Five, five, are unstable. Unstable. And unable to make the changes that you need to make in your life. I can't change that. I can't change self-deception. Only you can. 
I can't make you love yourselves. Only you can. I can't make you follow your intuition and your inner guide. Only you can. I can't make you move on. I can't make you happy. You can. I can. Love myself and speak the truth. I can love myself and speak the truth. And I don't know what your truth is. And I don't care either. No offense to you guys. I'm just saying. Not trying to hurt anybody here. I'm not. I'm not. But I know you guys don't want to hear it. You can't take it. Many of you guys can't take this. You can't. A lot of you can, many of you can't. But I don't lie to myself. And I don't have these power struggles because I accept the truth. Somebody doesn't want to be in solitude, right? <laughs> Soul solitude. Your soul needs attention. There are moments when it's important to get away, not just from the noise of the outside world, but to find a place where your soul can experience peace and quiet, a place for soul solitude. This is a time to pause, a time to reflect, and a time for you This is the Nine of Pentacles. If you want these readings to change, you have to change your energy. 